for the babies. How you doing? How y'all been? What's up? Okay, so y'all know how I do with these talk things. I never match up with the video at hand, but it's all good. Just know that this is what I did a few days ago going to work. This is what I call my no powder black smoky eye. You can also do this with any any other color as well. I just do this with black because I like the way the black looks. You can do it with brown, purple, blue. Um, I like deeper colors, warmer colors for smoky eyes. Um, especially when you're going to just do one color. So this is my going to work black smoky eye. Um, that primer I'm using is the Revlon. Uh color stay something like that primer I will list what I'm using in this video in the description bar below and um yeah we're just going to get into this video so of course clean face primed up primed my eyelids with a um basic primer typically I'll use my paint pots from MAC if I am doing um colors or browns or pinks i'm sorry i don't have my popcorn on so you're gonna hear a lot of p -p -p <laughs> because i'm just holding the mic that's not in the stand and i don't have on my popcorn so i'm gonna try to move it away but i don't want y'all to be like can you hear me now the verizon commercial y'all know what i'm talking about can you hear me now good <laughs> okay so that foundation i'm using is currently my holy grail i love that shit sh stuff it's the Lancome 10 Odd Doll 24 Hour, and I'm using two different shades. I'm using 460 and 450, and I mix the two, and I do two to one. I do two of it when I'm doing three pumps, because sometimes I go all the way up to six pumps, y'all. No, but don't be cake face though. This shit does not, stuff does not cake. Um, I use two pumps of the lighter shade and one pump of the darker shade. My lighter shade is 450, and I do two pumps of that, and I do one pump of the... 460 and I do it on the back of my hand and I blend it out with a spatula and after it's blended to you know I call it perfection for me you know the shade that I like because I like to think that I'm a little bit browner than I norm actually am as y'all can see in the video <laughs> I tend to be a bit yellow but um yeah after everything is blended together and mixed rather I use a stamp beauty blending sponge it is not the quote unquote beauty blender this is a four pack that i believe i got from amazon um and it works really well i actually like this sponge better because it's a little bit more dense and i can control it a little bit more easily whereas when i use the beauty blender they were a little too soft for me um and i just take the product and i blend it all over my face i use my spatula for whatever is left from the mixing the product and I place that on my face and then I go in and begin to apply the foundation that's on the back of my hand and I just go around my face. Um, I like to start on my cheeks because that's where I have hyperpigmentation. Look at that face y'all. Can y'all see that? Are y'all that face yet? Why do we do that face ladies? Fellas, do y'all do that face too when you go on makeup? Um, maybe it's me because I'm getting older and I'm getting fine lines and I'm creasing and you can still see the bags under my eyes, but don't worry, I'm going to fix that with some concealer. But why do we do that? And I have to get in the crevices on the side of my nose. I cannot stand that look because yes, you can see it when you don't get on that nose right. You can see that there is nothing in the crevices of that nose. <coughs> um, the concealer I'm using is the infamous LA Girl Pro Conceal and I'm using um, Warm Honey for that and I actually love this concealer. This concealer is Bodoco. It is actually better than the Black Opal concealer that I use because this concealer dries down. The Bella, mm, pardon me, I'm going to see if I can speak right now. The Black Opal concealer, it um, stays wet. So it doesn't dry down. So when my eyes get to watering um, on those days where my allergies are kicking my behind, um, it just, my tears just washes it away. But this right here is the business. Hunty boo boo chow. 
these concealers are amazing i got the whole kit i got the whole set from i kate house i think it was 38 bucks and it is so worth it i am going to repurchase this particular shade over and over and over and over, and over again there is a wide selection of colors shades rather with these concealers and i am quite impressed by the longevity the coverage the ability to manipulate this concealer it's just it it has taken me aback i mean i've used quite a few different concealers um from high end to inexpensive drugstore so on and so forth and this right here is never going to leave my sight um so yeah what y'all been up to this video is going to be 20 minutes so i'm just going to ramble on through it Y'all can probably hear a little bit of my music in the background. I am playing Mr. Vegas Hot Girl with Sean Paul. And I'm multitasking. Because I'm also on Facebook right now. Um, so let's talk about life a little bit, y'all. Oh, first thing I want to tell y'all about is this phone I have. I recently upgraded me and my daughter's phones to... Um, my daughter has the GS5, the newest galaxy phone and i have the note 3 she loves her phone and it is an awesome phone y'all can i tell you even the design it's, it's just a really nice phone but this note 3 y'all i'm already an android junkie i've spent my little time with apple and eh, y'all can have that because i'm good I, mm -mm, i'm an android junkie so i said okay i have the galaxy s3 and i was like all right well I got a GS5, that's the newest Galaxy Samsung phone, I'm going to go ahead and get that. But then I was like, you know what, I really want to try this Note. And if I don't like it, of course, I can send it back and get, you know, just pay the little inspection fee and get something that I know I will love. I'm so glad I chose to get this phone because this phone is Bodo Co. Let me tell you, Bodo Co. in my vocabulary means bomb.com. So, this phone being Bodo Co. means this phone is giving me life. Yes, this phone is everything right now. <laughs> oh, Lord, I don't know how I'm going to talk through these 20 minutes, y'all. Um, some updates on my personal life. I've quit smoking. Yes, I've quit smoking. And this time it is final. Um, I figured, okay, being vegan and smoking is probably not a good look. <laughs> so I've decided to quit smoking in um, an effort to live clean and healthy. Um, I'm going to go back to makeup right quick. That MAC Prep and Prime line filler right there is the bomb. But I'm going to go back so y'all know that the um, light that I put on my eyes is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Eyeliner. And I just use that with a Sigma um, synthetic rounded eyeshadow brush. And I applied it. I just put it on. It's no point in being neat with it because it's going, you know, we got to blend that out, y'all. Y'all know I ain't going to go around looking like that. Okay? You, if you don't know, now you know I'm not going to, but I'm not going to go looking around like that. Looking around and looking like that. Looking around. Yes, looking around. <laughs> so, yeah. I applied that after I did um, my concealer. And you just put it, I just put it in, the, and I brushed it against the, um, lo the lash line, not the lower lash line. The lash line to intensify the lash line because I'm not going to put on falsies at the end of this look but that line filler y'all people use it differently you are supposed to use it on top of your foundation which I do but I do that and then I powder over it once I feel like it's dry typically this is my next step is doing a setting spray I use um, the MAC 6 Plus, I use the Makeup Forever, I use a variety of different setting sprays, but at this stage of my makeup application, I tend to grab the Urban Decay B Silk. <sighs> so now I'm going to go back and powder. I'm powdering with um, Makeup Forever's uh, Loose Matte Powder, and it's in peach, but that powder I also mix with the Ben Nye Banana Powder. And it gives me the perfect tone that I want for under my eye. Setting my concealer and also leaving me with a light highlight. Because I don't want to look like a light bulb that went off in the middle of my face. I'm already light. I don't want to look like a fluorescent light bulb. And I just take a um, 
the uh yeah synthetic fiber sponge applicator and I press the powder um into the under eye area and I bring it back over the cheekbone to create that highlight that I like um and I let that set I also go over the bridge of my nose and my forehead with that powder um I learned from Buntricia to not um highlight my chin because everybody does that and I was like okay I highlight my chin but I already know I have a long face because I have a big forehead and Buntricia said girl pretty much don't you be highlighting your chin to make your chin look longer make your face look longer and I was like you know what you are so right you are so awesome so hashtag Buntricia honey boo boo child Godsend, Godsend. Uh, it's so many YouTubers that I look to for their skills and their application, and not only that, but their story, like their growth and makeup, is so amazing and so inspiring to me. Like I could go on and on and on and on and on in this video, and just talk about so many different people that are on YouTube that inspire me, and um, the ones that I and subscribe to my music is going to because I'm checking out YouTube right quick. I want to go to, um, see what's going on in my subscriptions. Oh, they're going in my X Face Awards again. But, <coughs> excuse me. Yes, I am so inspired by the beauty community on YouTube. It's just amazing. Um, that powder that I'm using on my face is the Black Opal Loose Oil Absorbing Powder. Love that powder. It is my go-to. I have it pressed and I have it loose. And I have a backup loose because that powder is everything. It does not give me that white cast. I'm sorry I'm sucking my lips. Like I said, my pop guard is not on. So you're going to hear a lot of stuff that you normally would not hear with my pop guard on. Um, that powder. Ooh, honey boo boo chow. I alternate between the Cover, F Cover FX Blot Powder and that black opal oil absorbing invisible powder press in my makeup bag but I use the loose on a daily basis look there go that mouth again why do we do that monkey mouth y'all okay so once I've got everything powdered and everything's feeling like it's dry and it's coming together nicely excuse me I go ahead and sweep off the excess powder from under my eyes and then I begin to contour and in contouring, I use a few different, th well, a couple of different things. Um, is one is the Mac Mineralize Skin Finish in dark, um, because it gives me that nice brown that I like. But I also wind up going over that with a um, L'Oreal True Match, and I think the color is W6 in cocoa, because that just intensifies the contour, but it doesn't leave me looking muddy. So the two of them together work pretty well, I think, with my complexion and my undertones. Um, it helps me close down on that forehead because y'all know I got a five head. Look at it. Look at it. You see that five head right there. And it's okay. I embrace it. But at the same time, if I can bring a little shade to that thing, I am a happy camper. Uh, of course, I do my nose. It's just a light contour on my nose because this is my workspace. I'm not going all out berserker like you know, it's still for me be for work because I have to be a certain, I have to look a certain way for work and that's just my thing. Now when I'm going out in the world, honey, I am snatched. Snatched. Um, and people say that's what I look like at work. For me, there's a big difference. There's a lot more that goes into when I'm not at work and the work beat. So it's like the not work beat and the work beat. This is my work beat. It's just regular for me. I do a little bit of contour, a little bit of blushing, a little bit of highlighting because I like a little gold powder to make me glow because I like a light face, a matte face. But I also like to, you know, be a little bit glowy. I'm a girly girl. I want to glow just a tad. <laughs> but, um, yeah, anywho. So, mm, makeup has been doing good for me. I've been finding a lot of products that I really love. Um, high end and expensive. Um, some stuff that I do want to try. I want to try that Clinique Stay Matte Foundation. And Sephora finally has that golden shade back in stock. So it's a couple of shades that I'm going to try with that over the summer. And um, I'm just going to keep learning. I'm going to keep watching YouTube videos and checking out forums and, you know, things of that nature. Oh, that blush, that matte blush right there. I'm sorry, y'all. That is Peaches by MAC and that is one of my go-to blushes 
just this little eco tools brush i have a ton of those and i love eco tools even so they all dipped up and you know all that uh so yeah i'll be checking out instagram uh facebook beauty pages because i draw inspiration from many different avenues and many different venues it's not just based on what somebody looks like it could be based on a flower or the sky that day or the color of somebody's nail polish i mean there's just so many things in the world to draw inspiration from i think it's amazing that these talented people are out here in the community and they are sharing themselves with us and i'm just thankful and grateful that i'm able to you know draw inspiration from it so yeah it is 15 30 into this video i'm going to highlight a little bit with that mac um mineralized skin finish in soft and gentle i'm just going to scoop that on the high cheekbone area and a little bit on the forehead so i can get a little bit of glowy not down my nose because um, my nose is an oil pot so i have to blot and the blot paper that i use is the um hard candy matte blot paper and i love that stuff that stuff is but okay but yeah i'm gonna let this video ride out play a little music for y'all um hopefully i won't get no copyright infringement issues <laughs> um but i'm gonna tell you why you did not see me put on lashes or do my brow is because my battery was acting retarded and even though i thought it was a freshly charged battery it in effect was not so i'm gonna dot my nose dot my nose dot my nose y'all i'm a dot my mole and you're gonna see me blending out this eye look um keep in mind this is eyeliner it's the l'oreal infallible 24 hour eyeliner in black or is it black it's black i think it's just black but i'm gonna blend that out with um the urban decay synthetic brush i s recommend synthetic when you're blending out creams i'm pretty sure everybody already knows that but I like to let the cream dry and it gives me a better blend and when you're blending you want to follow the shape of your eye and just enhance it slightly you know what I mean you can create shape with your eye by basically following the shape of your eye and just enhancing it to give it that ooh ah effect so you're gonna see me blending and you're gonna see me cleaning off that brush I'm not gonna alternate brushes and I'm not using any powder hence the no powder smoke eye smoky eye um so i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i hope y'all enjoyed my ramblings um if my ramblings have gotten on your nerves mute it and yeah more pati people so uh oh also i'm going to be shipping out for my contest the contest is now closed and the winner of that con that insta love contest on instagram was has two slips in um check me out on instagram y'all sugar pop queen 75 is not mm, mm. <laughs> on instagram i am the sugar pop queen 75 um excuse me you can also check me out on facebook my personal facebook is yewa uh, my beauty page is sugar pop queen 75 come check me out on twitter sugar pop queen 75 shoot me an email sugar pop queen 75 at gmail.com y'all know i'm on beautylish i'm on keek um so if you uh, oh, yeah, Instagram. Come on over. Check me out on Instagram because I'll be on Instagram looking at pictures and liking and sharing. We be flipping framing and all of that. So, um, yeah, tag me in some looks if y'all want to recreate this and you want to tag me. I would appreciate it if you did tag me um, or, like, do a video response. I would love to see your look if you're duping it or if, you wanna, if you're doing this look with a different color. Please let me know. I love to do this in black um, just because of my skin tone. But if you've done this in another color... I would love to see it and I invite you to share with me so I'm gonna stop talking so I can stop smacking my lips <laughs> and I'm gonna let this video ride out thank you all so much for watching thank you for liking please comment rate and subscribe um, thumbs up thumbs up this video if you'd like to see more from me if you have any tips tricks or advice feel free to shoot me an email or inbox me um, if I have not subscribed to your channel and you are beauty, fashion, makeup, anything beauty related, um, invite me if you can. Shoot me an email to the YouTube inbox and I will be there with bells on, y'all. Thank you for watching, Sugar Babies. Stay tuned for more from me and um, I appreciate you.